Uh, these are French beans, French climbing beans. When you buy uh, French beans, <laughs> be very careful to check your packet to see whether they're climbing or dwarf. Because if they're dwarf, they're never going to get higher than about this <laughs> off the ground. And the number of times I've seen these, these canes going up with a plant stuck at the bottom <laughs> optimistically and it's never going to climb. So make sure it's a climbing bean if that is what you want. Now here's a good example of what they look like when they're ripe. Here we go. And they are terrific. If you can see the beans, as in you can sort of see the outline of, line of the bean on the outside of the pod, unlike this, the chances are that might be a little bit stringy, a bit chewy. But if it's nice and smooth like that, that's going to be a really delicious bean. Another good test is if it does a nice snap like that and inside is green. As soon as you can see a contrast in colours or really well defined beans inside, I wouldn't bother. Or let them grow a bit and eat them as haricot beans, so you eat the individual beans as opposed to the pod. You can get French beans in purple and green, obviously, and yellow. And I find that the best purple one is a variety called Blauhilde. And they're brilliant, they're really vigorous. And they seem to resist getting stringy, even when they're really quite big, which is a great uh, recommendation in my book. And in terms of growing them, they love a good, rich, composted soil and I know I could say that about <laughs> pretty much any vegetable but it's true and these guys love it so they had a great big dose of compost in about March before they were put out I sowed them in nine centimeter pots little square nine centimeter pots and then as soon as as um, the risk of frost had gone which here is kind of late May probably end of May if you want to be really safe planted them out one at the base of each of these canes and the canes are approximately a foot apart. Now I have in my time experimented with putting two beans at the, at the uh, base of each cane and what tends to happen is that it does grow really well but you lose so many beans you can't keep up with them and they're much more likely to pull over the structure which happens a lot. Um, so one bean per cane, I would recommend as the way to do it. I also think that a row like this is better than a wigwam, because in a wigwam, you lose a lot dangling down in the middle on the inside, whereas this way, you can see them all. We've moved to some different beans to escape the noise of lawn mowers, but they're doing it here too. But we can't get too cross because they give us our lawn, their um, grass cuttings. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about beans, and in terms of nutrition, uh, they're a terrific source of fibre and um, that's good for essential gut health for your gut bacteria and they've also got a lot of folate in it which is an essential nutrient for pregnant women uh, it's useful to know um, if you want to save seed from your beans it's very very easy and they don't cross pollinate easily so that means that if i save the seed from uh, one of these purple beans that seed will germinate and grow and produce purple beans just like this it should be identical to its parent plant. Whereas if I tried that with a squash, for example, they're very promiscuous, they, they chop and change and, and what you end up with may well be really different to what you took it from. And so I always leave a few on the bush to get really big. I don't know if you can see that. That is one of these beautiful slender purple beauties left to grow. And it's swelling, it's got great big beans in, that would be revolting to eat now, but it will be ripening some lovely, big, healthy seed for me for next year. So I tend to, if you've got a, um, a wigwam or um, I don't know what you call this, a sort of lattice, I tend to keep one end free and not pick from it. And then that is where I take my seed beans from. So my seed for next year. This is a really nice one called Blauhilde. I think I mentioned it before never grown beans before I really recommend that you give it a try they're very very easy and uh, you can be picking beans you pick every other day for over a month in the summer and in my back book that is so worth it now, there's one really funny little fact about beans and that is that they will only climb in one way and 
a good way of doing it is to watch one that started off by itself and if you've got others that are waving around stopping and they haven't quite started to climb yet follow the same direction and if you, <laughs> if you get right down and look you can see it always goes like this up round and there we are it's all and you'll notice on every bean they all climb the same direction and if you try to tie it in the other direction they absolutely won't have it they'll uncurl themselves they'll be really miserable until they're able to climb again in the way that they want to climb anyway give them a go well worth it